Hello you guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed Saturday. And I I just want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. God bless you guys. And also just pray that you guys have a blessed weekend, but today I'm I'm back today to share another word of encouragement that God has given me to share. And and what I want to share today is I want to share about how God's love is for everyone. God's love is for everyone. But before I get into that, I want to start out with a time of prayer and just ask God to to be with me as I share his word today and that he would speak through me and just welcome his spirit into this time. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, Lord God, and God, I thank you for this time and I pray, Father God, that you would move me to the side, Lord God, as I share your word, Lord God, and God, that you would speak through me today, and I pray, Father God, that we would apply your word to our lives today and every day, and God, I just thank you for your love for us, Lord God, for each and every person. I pray, God, that we would share your love with everyone, Lord God, and I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so this... This is all for God's glory and honor. It's all to bring it's all to bring him glory, bring him honor. But the first verse I want to look at today is John three sixteen and seventeen and each and every one of us, we know, we know John 3, 16 by heart. That's like one of the most well-known verses. You know, it's one of the most well-known verses in the Bible. And we, we can all quote it. But today I want to look at it in a different context. John three sixteen and 17. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. John three sixteen and 17 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son not into the world to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Okay, and today I want to focus on the world. That verse today that I want to focus on, the word I want to focus on is the world. God's love it's not just for us believers. God didn't discriminate when he sent his son into the world to die on the cross for the sins of the world. He didn't discriminate. He didn't say, oh, I'm just going to send my, my son to die on the cross for the righteous people who, who think that they never do any wrong. Oh, I'm just going to send my son to die for the religious people. Oh, my, my son is going to die for the blacks or the Mexicans or the whites, but not for the Chinese and the Asians and whatever, you know. God did not discriminate with his love. John 3.16 says that he gave his son for the world. Who is the world? The world is each and every one of us. Each and every one of us. And also, 
The world is those who are not believers. That drug addict that you think is no good, Jesus died for them. That alcoholic who you think is never going to get their life together, Jesus died for them. That brother or sister in the Lord that you, you think is never going to get it right because they keep repeating that same sin. They keep going in that circle, going back to what God delivered them from. Jesus died for them. That homeless person, that homeless person who is looked down on, Jesus died for them. You know, Jesus died for each and every one of us. He died for the world. So many times we we try to we as believers we try to exclude people from those that Jesus died for. We try to we try to exclude them from God's grace. But no, God's grace is for everyone. God's mercy is for everyone. And you know, I I thank God that he died for me because I know I'm not perfect. I don't have it all together. But you know what? Jesus died for me. He died for you. And I know all of us, we have, we have family members that don't know the Lord, you know, and I, I got family members that don't know the Lord, and Jesus died for them. Jesus died for them, you know? And I, I'm praying that someday my family will come to the Lord. I'm claiming that in the name of Jesus, that Someday, my whole family is going to come to the Lord. My whole family on both sides, my mom's side and my dad's side. They are going to come to the Lord, and I'm claiming that in Jesus' name. You know? And some of you right now, you got family members that they don't know the Lord either. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, don't give up. Don't give up on your loved ones that don't know the Lord. Because Jesus loves them. God can work in their life. Just like God worked in your life, God can work in their life. And I shared it with you guys before, you know, I, I prayed for my mom for over 20 years to give her life back to Christ, to go back to church. I prayed for her and it was hard. It was hard at times, times I felt like God wasn't hearing me. Times I thought to myself, you know what, my mom's never going to get saved. She's never going to go back to church. You know, but God had to change my mindset. And I, I kept praying for my mom. And I kept believing God for her salvation. That's what God wants us to do for our loved ones. He wants us to believe Him for their salvation. And you know what? Not in Amara's timing, but in God's timing, my mom did give her life back to the Lord. And I tell people all the time that the best day of my life was the day that I seen my mom get, get baptized. 
the best day of my life was the day I seen my mom get baptized. That was answered prayer. If I would have gave up when it was hard, if I would have quit praying for my mom when it was hard, then I would have never seen that picture. I would have never seen my mom get baptized. You know? And I, I just encourage you, brothers and sisters, don't give up on your loved ones. Don't give up on your loved ones. Keep praying for them. Keep praying for them. And brothers and sisters, if you guys ever need prayer for your loved ones, prayer for anything, then just know that I'm praying for you. If, if you personally want me to pray with you for your loved ones to come to Christ, let me know. I'll stand in the gap with you. I'll pray with you. I'll believe with you for your loved one's salvation. Right now, I just want to close out this time with a word of prayer. And I'm going to pray for us as believers right now that we would remember that God's love is for everyone. God's love is for everyone. For the world. Not just for us as believers, but God's love is for the world. And I'm going to pray right now for those for all of us who are believing God for our unsaved loved ones. Father God, I thank you, God, for this day. And God, I just thank you for this time, Father God. God, I thank you for your love for the world, my God. I thank you, God, that you didn't discriminate. That you didn't just send Jesus for us as believers, but you sent him for the world. And I thank you for that, my God. And God, I thank you that you love us. You love each and every person in the world. You love the backslider. You love the drug addict. You love the alcoholic. You love the sinner. You love that believer who people are thinking they're never going to get it right because they keep committing the same sin. They keep going back to what you delivered them from. You love them, God. And we love them. God, I just pray, God, that you would help us, God, to all remember that you died for each and every one of us. You died for each and every one of us, Father God. And God, you died for our family. You, you sent Jesus to the cross to die for our family. And right now, God, I intercede for family members right now. For my family members who don't know you, and for the family members of all my brothers and sisters in Christ that don't know you, I intercede for them, Lord God. We intercede for them on behalf of them, Lord God. We ask you, God, to draw them close to you, Father God. Draw them close to you, God. And I pray, Father God, that we would not give up on them that we would never give up on them because there were people who never gave up on us. And I pray that we would never give up on praying for our unsaved family members. God, I just pray that you would tug on their hearts right now, Lord God. Show them their need for you, Father God. And I thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're listening to this right now, and you've never given your life to Christ, I want you to know, or God wants you to know that 
today is the day of salvation. If you've been debating on whether to give your life to Christ, God wants you to know that today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. It says in 2 Corinthians 6, 2, it says, where God says, at just the right time I heard you. On the day of salvation I helped you. Indeed, the right time is now. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Don't don't put it off until tomorrow. Like I said, you're not promised tomorrow. If you're listening to this right now, and you say, that's me. That's me. I need to give my life to Christ. I invite you to say this prayer with me. Father God, I come to you a sinner in need of a Savior. I believe that you sent your one and only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for my sins. And that he rose again on the third day. Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. To forgive me of my sins. Forgive me for walking away from you. And to give me a brand new start with you. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your forgiveness. God, I just thank you for loving me. And I thank you for your word says that you have a plan for my life. Help me, Jesus to live for you from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, God wants you to know that there's a party in heaven for you right now. There's a party in heaven going on for you right now. It says in the word of God that there is much rejoicing over one person who repents than over 99 righteous people who do not need to repent. There's the angels are throwing a party in heaven just for you right now, for your salvation. And I just want to welcome you to the family of God. Welcome to the family of God. And I encourage you, if you said that prayer, Get connected to a church. Get connected to a church. Get a Bible. Start reading your Bible. Start praying. Continue to grow in your walk with God. This is just the beginning of the amazing things that God has for your life. And that, that's all I want to share today and once again mothers happy mother's day happy mother's day may you be blessed amen god bless you guys i love you guys